Robert Vincent Salazar Jaworski, Tagalog pronunciation, Daski, born March 8, 1946 in Baguio City, Philippines, also known as Sonny Jaworski, Bobby Jaworski. Robert Jaworski Sr. is a former Philippine senator, former basketball coach and former basketball player. Known as the Big J, Jao and the Living Legend, Jaworski was a former playing coach, the PBA. S first ever, and one of the most memorable players for Ginebra San Miguel. He is one of the PBA's greatest players and was inducted into the PBA Hall of Fame in 2005. Early life and college career Born to Polish-American Theodore Vincent Jaworski and an Ilocano Illuminata Bautista Salazar, Jaworski grew up in the streets of Manila where he was first introduced to basketball, rising to prominence in the collegiate leagues, where in 1964, he played for the University of the East Red Warriors in the University Athletic Association of the Philippines UAAP. Jaworski delivered outstanding performances in the 1965 and 1966 UAAP seasons resulting in back-to-back -back titles for the Recto-based Red Warriors. In 1966, Jaworski was part of the amateur selection sent to represent the country in the 1966 Bangkok Asian Games. The following year, he represented the country in the Asian Basketball Championship, now FIBA Asia Cup, in Seoul, South Korea where the Jaworski-led Philippine team won the gold medal at the expense of the host country. Amateur career In 1967, he joined the Elizalde-owned YCO Painters under coach Carlos Loizaga. He played for YCO during the 1967 National Seniors and National Invitational, both won by YCO. He transferred to the newly formed Maralca Ready Kilowatts in 1968, but was unable to play due to lack of release papers. He finally suited up for Maralca in 1970. His first MVP award was during the Presidential Cup of 1970. He was mentioned in the book, Basketball History of the Philippines by Boni Escoda, as the best Filipino player in the MICAA from 1971 to 1974 by topping all the rest with a player's all-around value of 35.7. In 1971, he and Alberto, big boy, Reynoso were banned for life by the Basketball Association of the Philippines BAP, for assaulting two basketball officials, Eriberto Cruz and Jose Obaez, who were ostensibly making a series of bad calls that seemingly favored the Crispa Floro team. Reynoso and Jaworski chased the two officials on the court and mauled them in front of the crowd. Maralka was behind 65-50 against the Redmanizers. Maralka disbanded the team shortly afterwards. The two sure shoe ins for the RP team to the 1972 Olympics missed the national team for the first time in their lives. Owing to the talent that the two players possessed, both players were reinstated in 1973 and played for Maralka for the final time during an exhibition match against the Japanese national team, which they won. The two later on teamed up in the Philippine national team for the 1973 ABC Championship. Jaworski was the lead guard of that team alongside Reynoso, Francis Arnaz, Ramon Fernandez and William. Boggs. Adornado. Other players in that team included Rogelio. Tembong. Malencio, David. Dave. Regalano, Rizalio. Yuying. Martirez, Manuel. Manny. Painter, Alberto. Abet. Guidobin, Jamie. Jimmy. Mariano and Ricardo. Joy. Cleophas. It was also around this time when the nickname, Big J, was given to him, resembling the Big O tag given to Oscar Robertson who Jaworski played like. Jaworski and Reynoso, with other former Maralca players, Fort Acuna, Francis Arnaz and Orlando Bazin formed the core of the newly formed Komatsu Comets, later renamed the Toyota Comets. Jaworski became a court general and led the Comets to the 1973 MICAA title. Reynoso, Jaworski and Armes made it to the 1973 and 1974 RP teams that regained the ABC crown and went to the 1974 FIBA World Championship. Jaworski became a PBA player in 1975 after the Toyota Comets became one of the league. 
S founding franchises when the league was formed the same year. Jaworski had for his original teammates Arnes, Reynoso, Fernandez, Reynoso's younger brother Cristino, Tino, Rodolfo, Ampong, Segura, Oscar Rocha, Joaquin, Jake, Rojas, and Orlando, Orly, Bazin. Professional career Toyota Jaworski was part of the Toyota franchise for 10 years 1973 to 1983. He was the acknowledged leader of the team and a major player in Toyota's nine PBA championships. He was named Most Valuable Player in 1978. Jaworski S MVP performance may arguably be considered as his best single season, averaging 20 points, 12 assists and close to 9 rebounds per game. This was done despite the presence of hulking imports with no height limit, imports he played alongside and against with. The closest that would compete for domination would be Ramon Fernandez's scintillating 1984 season for Beerhausen where El Presidente averaged 27 points, 15 boards and 9.9 .9 assists per game. The difference though was that Jaworski, along with Fernandez and Arnes, led the Toyota team to two championships that season, the Open and the AFC, while Fernandez failed to bag a title for Beerhausen in 1984. He was also the first point guard to achieve 1,000 offensive and 2,000 defensive rebounds. He is also the PBA's all-time leader in assists. In 1967, Jaworski and veteran internationalist Narciso Bernardo were named as members of the Mythical Five. Ginebra When Toyota disbanded at the end of the 1983 season, the team was sold to Basic Holdings, Inc., the company that owns Asia Brewery. Jaworski balked at the idea of joining Beerhausen, the brand name of Basic Holdings after describing what he felt was a sale done without giving due respect to the personalities involved. Jaworski described the sale as a farce, and that players like him should not be sold. Poor Kilo. At that time, Beerhausen was intent on making Fernandez as the franchise player of the team with Jaworski relegated in the background. Eventually, then PBA President Carlos. Honey Boy. Palenka III made a decision that was the most controversial and history-making move in the PBA. Palenka, owner of La Tondeña, Inc. which owns Gilby's Gin, later Ginebra San Miguel, in the PBA, decided to take in Jaworski and best buddy Arnes to the team. This marked the cornerstone in making Ginebra arguably the most popular team in Philippine basketball history with Jaworski at the forefront. Jaworski and Arnes turned the moribund franchise into a competitive one almost overnight when in the first conference of the 1984 season, the All-Filipino, he led the team to a runner-up finish against powerhouse Crispa. Gilby's gin was then led by Arturo. Turo. Valenzona, a former nemesis of Jaworski from their MICAA days. A power struggle was already ensuing thereby leading to the breakup of the Valenzona-Jaworski partnership at the start of the 1985 season. Jaworski took over as playing coach of Ginebra San Miguel while Valenzona went on limbo before moving to the Tandwai Rum Makers in the 1986 season. Jaworski's first championship as a playing coach came in the 1986 Open Conference when he, alongside import players Michael Hackett and Billy Ray Bates, dominated the entire conference to win the championship finals at the expense of the Manila Beer team, then led by former CRISPA players Abet Guidobin, who was traded from Tandwai Vice Fernandez, and Atoy Co., alongside imports Michael Young and Harold Keeling. In Game 4 of that best-of-seven series, Jaworski played the entire game that needed two extra overtime periods to beat Manila Beer 145-135, thereby taking a 3-2-1 lead. Jaworski was 40 years old at that time and yet became a PBA record holder for being the local who played the longest in one game, later to be broken by Jaworski's wedding godson, Zandro. John. Limpot while playing for the STA. Lucia Realtors as a rookie in 1993 by playing 60 minutes in a triple OT victory against SMB. Ironically, Jaworski owns the PBA record for playing the shortest time in a PBA game, at one second. 
in a game against the Alaska Milkmen in 1996 and behind by two points with one second in that game, the Big J fielded himself to handle the inbound. While the inbound was successful, the team failed to convert this into a basket and lost the game. In 1988, Jaworski won his first and only All-Filipino Championship in a controversial championship against Pure Foods Hot Dogs, led by Ramon Fernandez who also coached the team in the previous Open Conference before relinquishing the job to Chris Calilon early in the All-Filipino Conference. Jaworski and Fernandez were involved in a running feud dating back when Toyota disbanded in 1983 and this became the climax of their rift. In Game 1 of that finals, Anejo Rum 65 upended Pure Foods to gain initial lead in the series. Pure Foods owner Jamie Zobel de Ayala and President Renato Bahane publicly accused Fernandez of not playing up to par in Game 1 and ordered his benching for the entire series. Because of this controversy, Anejo Rum went on to win the series, 3-2-1, including the deciding Game 4 where Jaworski became best player of the game, topscoring for his team with 28 points. In 1989, Jaworski and Fernandez eventually reconciled, ending a long feud. Ironically, it was Baby De Lupin, coach of their arch-rival Crispa team that made it possible. De Lupin, then coaching the veterans team of Jaworski and Fernandez in the 1989 All-Star Game against the rookies and sophomore team, encouraged the two to shake hands after the game where both of them led to victory by two points, 132-130. In the final four seconds of that game, Jaworski inbounded the ball and gave the pass to Fernandez who streaked past Benji Paris and made a twisting, elegant, shot for the two-point win. Jaworski, after being appointed national team coach by the BAP, later selected Fernandez in the team to represent the Philippines in the 1990 Asian Games in Beijing, China. Fernandez was among 12 players personally chosen by Jaworski to lead the charge for the team. Others included Alvin Patrimonio, Alan Kadic, Avellino, Samboy, Lim, Eve Dignitas, Hector Calma, Venancio, Benji, Paris, Ronnie Magsanoc, Zaldi Relubit, and the Big J's players with Anejo, Dante Gonzalgo, Chito Loizaga, and Ray Cuenco. This team salvaged the silver medal against host China but not after giving the Chinese a good fight in the finals, losing 90-76. In 1991, Jaworski won his third title at the expense of Formula Shell in Game 7 of the Open Conference. In that deciding game, Jaworski inbounded from the end line to Rudy Distrito with four seconds remaining. Distrito made a difficult, twisting, off-balanced and falling shot over the outstretched arms of Paris to pull off a two-point win and to the delight of millions of Ginebra fans watching the game. Jaworski ended up once more as the best player of that game with 13 points, 7 rebounds and 8 feeds in an all-around effort not common for a 45-year-old man. This marked the first time in the history of the PBA that a team came back from a 3-2-1 deficit to win the championship. From 1992 to 1995, Ginebra suffered a drought owing to budgetary constraints experienced by the franchise. Jaworski worked with veterans and rookie players alike in trying to earn respectability during this period. In 1995, a PBA record was established when Jaworski took in his eldest son Robert Jaworski Jr. in the second round of the rookie draft, making this the only time when a father and son played for the same team. However, the two never got to play together as Jaworski contented himself coaching the team while Robert Jr. got his few minutes as a starter. It was in 1996 when the breakthrough came in for Ginebra, now called Ginebra Na. After years of savoring for super rookie Marlu Aquino, he finally got the 6-9 beanpole as top draft pick of 1996. He also got Bal David from the free agent ranks after the latter displayed capability as a point guard when he and Aquino led the national team to the gold medal in the 1995 SEA Games. David was also the celebrated point guard of the PBL, leading the Stag team to twin championships in 1995. But 1996 was Alaska's year, and the Grand Slam was accomplished with Gordon. S. Jin at the losing end in the third and final conference. In 1997 though, Jaworski finally earned his fourth jewel, mentoring the team to the 1997 Commissioner's Cup Championship at the expense of the Alaska Milkman. 
The team won in six games, including a 126-94 route in the final game. Jaworski remained as coach of the team until April 1998 when he announced his intention of running for the Philippine Senate in May that year. Jaworski wound up eighth overall in the Senate race, making him one of the few cagers to become a Senator of the Republic, following the footsteps of Ambrosio Padilla and Freddie Webb. Fernandez tried to run for the Senate in the 1995 elections but wound up 19th overall. After being proclaimed Senator, Jaworski turned over the coaching chores to his longtime assistant Quirino. Rhino. Salazar while taking a leave of absence from the basketball scene. But in 1999, a controversy erupted when Ginebra owner Eduardo. Danding. Kowanko Jr. announced the promotion of Alan Kadic as playing assistant coach of Jaworski in Ginebra. The Big J didn't take this well and resigned from his position as head coach after feeling insulted of not being informed about it beforehand. Salazar took over and later on handed the reins to Kadic when he had to migrate to Alaska and join his family. Jaworski S. Last game in the PBA was in March 1997 in a game held at Dumaguete City. He did not play much in that game but owns the record for being the oldest player ever to play in the PBA at 50 years old. This on top of being acknowledged as the league's most popular player and an influential figure in Philippine basketball. In May 30, 2003, 23 years after the end of the Crispa Toyota rivalry, Jaworski made an appearance at a reunion game in the Araneta Coliseum, alongside fellow players from both teams. Political career Jaworski ran for senator during the 1998 national elections as an independent candidate, which he won. Jaworski placed ninth overall in the 1998 senatorial elections, the highest placed finish for a former sportsman. Due to this, he was forced to leave the coaching chores to Ginebra assistant Rhino Salazar. After a dispute with the new officials at Ginebra's mother company, San Miguel Corporation, Jaworski quit his duties as head coach and concentrated more on his political duties. During his stint as senator, Jaworski focused on legislating laws on environment and sports. Jaworski was Chairman of Economic Affairs, Trade and Commerce Committee and was also a member of the Games and Amusement and Sports Committee. Among the 300 or so bills he has authored or co-authored, he is most proud of eventual laws that declared the Mount Katandlad Range in the province of Bukidnon a protected area, established the Northern Sierra Madre Mountain Range in Isabela as protected area, Established the Batanes Group of Islands as Protected Area. Established Mount Canla on as Protected Area, and, to the consternation of logging companies, regulated the ownership, possession and sale of chainsaws. Jaworski also introduced legislation to protect the country's national marine sanctuaries and filed a bill imposing strict penalties on oil pollution damage on Philippine waters. He co authored the Clean Air Act and the Solid Waste Management Act. In 2004, Jaworski was defeated when he ran for re election as senator. PBA return the Philippine Daily Inquirer and the Manila Times reported on February 13, 2007 of Jaworski's possible return in the PBA as coach for either the Air 21 Express or the Talk. N text phone pals for the 2007 PBA Fiesta Conference but declined to accept the offer since talks stalled before any contract offer was made. After the tournament, talks resurfaced again between Jaworski and the Air 21 management. However, with the resignation of Noli Ila as league commissioner, Jaworski is one of the names mentioned as replacements for the said post although no offer has been made. In the end though, Jaworski did not accept either offer and chose to retire from public eyes with his family. Career highlights PBA career most valuable player in 1978 
Mythical first team selection in 1977, 1978, 1979, 1980, 1981 and 1986. Mythical second team selection in 1985 and 1988. All defensive team in 1985 and 1988. Four time PBA All Star. Won four championship as a playing coach in 1986 Open Conference, 1988 All Filipino Conference, 1991 First Conference, and 1997 Commissioner's Cup, all with the Ginebra franchise. Coached the 1990 PBA All-Star Veterans, 1991 PBA All-Star Dark Team, 1992 PBA All-Star North Team, 1996 PBA All-Star Rookie, Sophomore, Juniors, and 1997 PBA All-Star Veterans. Finished his career with 5,825 career assists, 605 more than the second running total of Ramon Fernandez. PBA Hall of Fame Class of 2005 Member, 2013 Adamson U Member, 1966 Asian Games Member, 1967 Asian Basketball Confederation, Champions Member, 1968 Olympic Games Member, 1969 Asian Basketball Confederation, 3rd place Member, Team Captain 1971 Asian Basketball Confederation, 2nd place Member, 1973 Asian Basketball Confederation, Champions Member, 1974 World Championship Member, Team Captain, 1974 Asian Games Head coach, 1990 Asian Games, silver medal. Jaworski was the team captain of the 1971 team, second placer in the 1971 ABC in Tokyo, and 1974 RP team formed the Asian Games, fourth place. References External links Senator Robert Jaworski, Senator Robert Jaworski's homepage Robert Jaworski, Senate Biography Robert Jaworski Article Jaworski Fernandez 1989 Team Up 1989 All-Star Game that ended the Jaworski-Fernandez feud